the the talk of the uh, the season post Christmas has been: Will the national go twelve teams? And if they if they will, will Solway be considered? Now I spoke to Ross a little bit off air. Ask you the same question now that we're back on air. If if that was to be the case, would you boys want your name to be top of that list and be taking that twelfth spot? For a player's yeah. point of view, Ross? Yeah, like, like definitely, like I said before, uh, we went live, like, it's just the progression, like, you know, we've been kind of dominating up here for years, I think it's 10 years, five league titles, along with multiple North Cups and playoff trophies and a national title, so, like, on a performance, we deserve it, but it's whether they kind of want to have that top, but I think uh, all the players here would love to step up and try to compete against some of the best players in the country. What about from your perspective, Grubby? If you want the truth, I don't think we'll be asked. We're too far away. People don't want to travel. It's the controversial side that everybody's talking about. It's, I don't think there's an appetite. I think we're, we're spoken about, and rightly so. And as a club, we've internally, we've had little discussions on the most important thing, like any, any hockey club. It's got to be long-term, financially viable. Um, and I think it could be. Yeah, I really think it could be. I think we've got a core group here that would make a decent roster. Naturally, you would lose some guys along the way due to other commitments or age and what have you. But I think we've definitely got the, the bones of a good team that can go in there and compete. Because the last thing I'd want to do personally is go in there and kind of become a disaster and be that bottom of the team, uh, bottom of the league team. But I honestly don't believe, I don't believe they will ask us purely because it's a nice, cosy little league there right now. It's a good league. And I'd love to be part of it, but um, and I hope I'm wrong, but I, I'm not sure we get asked purely for that finance show. I hope you're wrong. And, and this yeah. part. I hope I'm wrong. I definitely do. I think we could. I think we could add something to that league. But I think when you look at Basingstoke, the Bees, Bristol, Swindon, to Dumfries, unless and I've heard you boys say it before, and I totally agree, the conference side working the fixtures where they're in Dumfries on a Saturday and somewhere else halfway down yeah. the country on a Sunday or is it where you do what Belfast do and you play two games a Saturday yep. night or a Sunday? Night? There's definitely workable ways to do it. And we're the same. We'll do double headers if we need to. We do it in this league. But There's plenty of smart men that run this show that you stick them all in a room. I'm sure they would be able to attract sponsors if they really worked hard enough. Hotel sponsors. There's all sorts of clever guys there that could pull some strings. I'm absolutely positive of it. Even if you then had to go six and six, where you go north and south, I don't know who gets put in north. And uh, obviously, whether it be Telford, Peterborough, I don't know logistically who, who it would be. Obviously, you would have Hull, um, Leeds and Sheffield yourselves. There would have to be obviously two more northern teams who, who it would be. And then maybe you do only two cross-conference games and three in your own or four in your own, however you need to do the maths to make it work. But I think there's an appetite uh, that's Sega, Lisa Calvert. That's the problem. You need a woman organizing it. Hey, she might be right. <laughs> she she might be right. She might not she might not be wrong there. Um, but it would be good to see you guys get in and get your chance because we've been here before. The league was a little bit different then, but after the demise of the the EPL, there was a little taste, wasn't there? Like a couple of seasons. And you like, I think you boys beat everybody you played against, right? Over the over the course. Yeah, I think we're the only team that managed to beat everybody and, and kind of split some of these these series with teams. So I think I, you're right, though. It's If you think of travel, you know, it's simple. Travel, right? Let's get a hotel chain that says any every team is going to use your hotel chain. Every fan's going to use this code yep. and book online. And, and there's money to be saved and made that way. There's travel companies that's taking teams up and down the country. There's hockey brains everywhere that could get in a room and, and make these things work. Is the appetite there for everybody? Who knows? We'll, I guess we'll find out. I hope it is. Um, and I think it could, I actually genuinely think it might lead to something bigger. Every year we hear, when we all hear it in this hockey world of, you know, what did Fife do? What did Dundee do? Yeah. I think it goes, it, there's a potential to conference it into a, a bit more of an old school, maybe not the eight imports to the B&L, but, I think that's it's got the bones of being L there somewhere down the line. It's for some, our young players, something I've what, thought about, Grubby. That's something I've thought about for sure. 
Uh, I mean, there's how many young like we all watch young young players play hockey now, and the skill they've got, and the, you know, some of the some of these young players are, are unbelievable now. But they need a chance to play at a level where they can showcase their talent. So if we can get something going where they come through junior hockey and say, "I want to play in that national league," I can play in that national league because there is teams nationally for Scotland, England, to Wales, whatever. That's that's our sports job, but. Surely we can get enough people in the room that can make it happen.